Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Horn, campaign chair this year. This is a long anticipated journey. Uh, began about uh, nine months ago. Gary did a little arm twisting and uh, it didn't take much. Uh, I love this community just like all of you and it's a real pleasure to serve in this capacity. Uh, I love September. Uh, not only does it mark the beginning of the United Way kickoff, uh, but it's a beautiful time of year, beginning of the football season, and uh, it's the time when NBC unveils their new programming lineup. <laughs> is, is that okay, Russell? <laughs> uh, before I introduce our guest speaker, share a few remarks, if you will. Uh, each year, the campaign starts out anew with the hopes of meeting and then, yes, even exceeding our goal. Our theme this year was a community united for 60 years. We wanted to recognize and celebrate a 60-year-long commitment that this community has had in giving through the United Way. Participating in the campaign helps bring us together and when we unite and work together, we make our combined efforts exponential. This effect is known as synergy. And most of you know the definition of synergy is the creation of a combined whole is greater than the simple sum of its parts. Isn't that a great description of the United Way? Life's about a lot of things, but it doesn't, but doesn't helping others have to be at the top of our list? Much help is still needed in our community today, and our United Way agencies step, step up and help on a daily basis. These are our heroes of our community, and they witness the need firsthand and are willing and able to offer quality help. These agencies are supported by the United Way of Hamlin County, and all are operated and managed by our local directors in conjunction with local staff and volunteers. Most of these agencies are governed by a board of directors, also made up of local folks. We can have confidence knowing that our combined efforts through the campaign go to support our friends and neighbors who are making a big difference in our community. We, not somebody outside our community, are making decisions on how best to serve and meet the needs of our community, and then likewise supporting them with our time, our efforts, and yes, our resources financially. We have much to be thankful for, and for the past 60 years, our community has opened up its heart and demonstrated a great capacity to give. Well, good to see you, and uh, Chris, thanks for that. You, on NBC, uh, you can watch Live at 5, at 4, at 3 in Crossville. Um, <laughs> and 10 news today, starting each day at 4.30 a.m., which I know many of you got up to watch this morning. Uh, we actually go on at 4.30 in the morning, and uh, the first week we started going on, um, I had two of my boys out at the Ice Bears hockey game, and this fella came up, he must have been 99 years old, and he came up to the three of us, and he looked at me and he said, well, I saw you on the 4.30, boys were there and I said, oh, gosh, you get up early. We appreciate it. He said, no, I just had to pee. <laughs> and my boys were like, wow, you are awesome. Man. But uh, thanks for having me. WBIR is a big supporter of United Way, so they allowed me to leave at 6.20 this morning. And we left Abby in charge, which is kind of frightening. But, uh, so I got no tickets on the way up here and everything was good. And, uh, but I'm very, very glad to be here. My wife and I and our children uh, are supporters of United Way and um, believe in, in what they do. It's one of the many things that we give to. Um, just to kind of, my dad taught at Georgia Tech for, for is there a tech fan in here? Yeah. Chris had it like a, like a snake. <laughs> That's a bad snake. He didn't teach it like Florida. He taught at Georgia Tech. <laughs> you got a tech? You? Yeah, that's right. She, yeah, don't listen to the snakes over here. <laughs> but he taught more students than anybody in the history of the school. He taught 35,000 students. And I wasn't one of them. Um, 
because I went to Alabama. <laughs> now you can bring out the snakes. I worked for Coach Fulmer for the Vol Network for years, and I don't think he ever knew I went to Alabama. I'm glad he didn't. But Coach Cutcliffe played for Bear Bryant. And I think it was Katrina. I don't remember what it was. Katrina something. And uh, they were playing, the Vols were playing LSU. And they flew down, and they weren't sure they were going to be able to get back because of the storm. And so they called, <laughs> called C Coach Cutcliffe and said, you'll fill in for Coach Fulmer if he doesn't get back. And called me and said, you'll fill in for Bob if he doesn't get back. And I thought, my gosh. People find out two Alabama guys hosted the Tennessee <laughs> We're going to be run out of here. 